hello, this is Shay. Welcome to week two of Oz and Og 2024. Yes, welcome. We are doing a Wizard of Oz event for the month of August, and I am working on a Wizard of Oz painting. Today will be our week two whip and chat. Um, you ask, what is a whip and chat if you are new? Um, whip, W-I-P stands for work in progress. And my work in progress is a diamond painting. And they take a while, right? So it's a good whip to have. They can take about a month normally for me. Uh, but yes, welcome, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming back again if you've been back, um, if this is not your first time. And then welcome to any newcomers that I have that maybe because you found me through the, the event that we're hosting this month or who knows. But thank you, thank you, thank you for deciding to click on this video. Um, I love doing these. I love hanging out with you guys. So um, make sure you let me know down in the comments how you are doing, okay? Let me know what you're up to. How's life? Um, what did you work on during this time? I know a lot of you, um, some of you watch Whip and Chats that you'd like to see the person diamond painting. Some of you can listen to it like a podcast. So yeah, use me as you wish. Like I always tell you guys, however you want to do a Whip and Chat, there's no wrong or right way to do it. So um, let's get started. I'm so excited. Um, I haven't diamond painted today, so I'm just like looking at this like itching going, okay, okay, but let, let's let's get going, lady. Um, I'm going to show you a couple things that I'm using. So here is my project bag. So if you want to look up, um, I'm getting, I'm opening this up to get my sticker so I can show you guys the painting that I'm working on. Um, yes, I believe these are all sold out, but Sarah and Creations, who made these bags, um, I'll have her email linked down below in her shop. Um, so maybe you can send her a message and see if she does have any left. I think she had one left. Uh, but they might be sold out by the time this is filming. But the good news is, if you are participating in Oz and Og 2024, um, she is donating two of these bags for giveaways. So have no fear. Um, there might still be hope to get your hands on one of these, okay? They're yellow in the inside for the Yellow Brick Road. I love it so much. Oh, I love it. Uh, but before we get started, um, before we really get started, um, oh, let me just take a deep breath. I always get so excited when I start filming these. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to say thank you and let you know who my co-host is. So of course I'm Shay, Crafting with Shay. Uh, this is my third year to be doing Oz and Og. Yes, I think so. Fourth year of it running. And I've got my wonderful co-hosts. I've got two of them. There is Ditsy with Ditsy's Diamond Den and her husband, Paul. And he also goes, goes by Dear Helper. So if you guys are listening, hello. Um, yes, so I just wanted to say hi to them and thank them for all their hard work. Um, Without them, this, this event wouldn't be what it is. So it's just been a lot of fun. Um, yes, and of course, thank you to all of our sponsors. So everything I'm gonna be showing you today will be down in the description. So if you wanna go show these folks some love, that would be great. Um, so here's what I'm working on. Um, I was working on it last week. I just actually, you know what? Now I'm thinking about it. My last video, my last whip and chat was actually a kid up in chat. So you had, you had not seen me. So I've actually made a lot of progress in one week. It's pretty cool to see. Um, yeah, so this is the one we kitted up last week. It's from Art and Soul. And it is licensed artwork from Hannah Lynn. It's called Wicked Witch. And it's a square. It's got square drills. And the size is a 55 by 75 in centimeters. And it's got three ABs. And I've added some other bling, which we'll talk about how all that came to be. Uh, but yeah, the project bag is great. I just kind of keep my, um, oops, sorry, hit the camera. Keep my stickers in here. Um, there's a ton of extra, there's a ton of black 310 AB, um, or drills. So I have like multiple bags of those, all the extras that I can just fill up. I've got my putty in here, which let's go ahead and talk about that. This is another one of our sponsors. This is from Tracy's DP World. It is apple scented putty and it's Ozanog 2024 yellow brick. It's actually, and I don't think I showed it to you guys last time. It's actually a yellow brick road. <laughs> it is adorable. Look at that. And I've only had to dig into it twice and I've already done a row and almost a half, which is impressive. Yeah. And it's still super sticky and it smells so good. So I'll have all her shop information, but this is what I'm gonna, this is what I have in my multi-placers um, in my two pens that you'll see. So I kind of keep that here. I keep uh, extra tweezers. So yeah, anything extra. This is like kind of my go-to, my bag with all my goodies and I kind of just have it next to me. So that's the painting. Um, I am using a Muni main tray. Muni made does do 3D printed trays and diamond paintings. So definitely go check her out. Um, decided to go with the orange because there is some orange in here bring out that color. And I do like the larger tray. I think last week I may have had like a smaller tray out, but this has been working out better. And then I have my sparkly green trinket tray from Lexi Sparkle Craft. It is resin. Oops, I think a drill just fell out. Yep, sure did. And this holds all your little accessories. So I've got my pins, 
my tweezers and dear helper Paul, Ditsy's husband, got these for me. He actually plays his drills with tweezers only, which is impressive. And my other tweezers were so beat up. So he got me a really nice pair and they're engraved with my name. So it's just really, really nice. Ceramic cutter. I do use um, washi tape to section off my diamond painting. So this is used to kind of just make, you know, the cuts and peel it back. And then I got my two pens. This is the two pens I think I showed you last week. These are both from Leopard Leather Works, which is another one of our sponsors. These are from, these are blanks from Troy Shipley. Okay, so thank you, Troy, for your amazing work. These are gorgeous. Carrie actually sent him pictures of the paintings and that's what, you know, and then he created these pens for it. So this is actually the Wicked Witch pen right here. And then this is Emerald City. I love them both. I do have just the good old brass tips in the single placers. And I am using micro glue dots. Those are my favorite, my definitely go-to. And then um, again, I'm using that apple scented putty in both of my seven placers, just the, pl the plastic white ones. Um, seven's kind of my, my favorite multi-placer. So I normally will be using those. Um, my cover minder, I thought was really cute. I forgot to pull this out last week to get ready. Um, I thought it was so fitting. It says, don't make me get my flying monkeys. And of course, here's our monkey. It's Wicked Witch. So I thought it was perfect. This came from... Um, Kim's Needle Minders. So I'll try to remember to, to link her below, but this just holds back your plastic. I have another uh, magnet underneath my painting that holds it back. I am using Elizabeth Ward. I was going to use my new Diamond Art Club storage, but it was short one, one box. So, cause there are 55 colors and that only holds 54. So I haven't used it yet, but I'm excited to. Um, so I've got some extra goodies here. Um, I'm blinging it up. A friend of mine came over this week, this past weekend. I'll talk more about that in a second. And we are blinging this baby up. Yes, we've got metallic in the yellow brick road. See all these beautiful purple crystals in here and the monkey. So, and I had to order a few more and they haven't come in yet from DP with Sparklers. So definitely go check out Tima over at DP with Sparklers and you can just enhance your diamond painting with all these little fun goodies. Um, I can't take credit for it though, but again, we'll get into that once we get to that day. I try to keep it in order. Um, one other thing that came in since our last whip and chat that I, I showed it on my live this past week. I got a bracelet from a friend here in the community. This is from Wendy. It's a beautiful, I don't know if y'all can see it. Uh, it's a charm bracelet and it has all the different elements of the wizard of Oz. It is adorable. I mean, it's got the hot air balloon. Let's see. We've got the monkey, the scarecrow, the hot air balloon, little, little Toto. We've got Dorothy right here. There's of course the Ruby red slippers. Here's the word Oz. It's got the O and the Z. We've got the scarecrow, the lion, a rainbow. We've got a witch. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure you're on frame. We've got a broom and we've got the bike. I love it. Sorry if the camera's being, uh, Ollie. Y'all, if, you, if you've if been you here before, you know, there's some always some sh dog shenanigans going on. Um, Ollie, my little Frenchie is down below and he kind of keeps bumping my camera stand, so. I think he's trying to get a toy, but isn't this adorable? I was gonna wear it, but I didn't know if it'd be too clanky clanky during the video, because it's jingle jangles, but I love it. But I wanted to make sure and like not have it on so I could like show you guys all the different charms. So Wendy, thank you so much. Um, these are the things that just mean so much um, to, to me. And I'll just, you know, wear it forever and ever and ever and always think of her. So that's just so kind. Um, so, so nice. I of course got this bracelet. Uh, I bought it off of Etsy. Um, maybe last year, year before maybe. I just thought it was so cute. It's got like the yellow brick road in there. It's just like a little cuff bracelet. See how it kind of comes off like that. And it's got the slippers. I just thought it was, it's like a little bubble. I thought it was so cute. So I thought it would be something cute to wear during whipping chats. But you get to get, a, you know, you have to get all themey, themey and matchy, matchy, right? You got to. All right. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Turn on my fan. I'm like, why am I like starting to sweat? Hold on, let me just, all right, there we go. Fan is on. So you guys, let's get to diamond painting. Let me tell you guys where I'm at, what day and time it is for me. I'm gonna show you the good old watch. Oh, I have a timer for meatloaf, by the way. We've got 42 minutes and 20 seconds before I have to pause. <laughs> um, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, uh, August 7th at 7.51 p.m. So it's Wednesday for me, Thursday for you if you're watching this the day that it comes out. I always try to have my whipping chats go out on Thursday if life, you know, lets it happen. And hopefully let's keep our fingers crossed. I'm just now filming, it's not uploaded yet, that all things will work and that you guys will see this on a Thursday. So, all right. Okay, I need to scoot up my chair, but of course, just like last time, Ollie Lolly, my little Frenchy baby is right under my chair where my wheels are. Um, go ahead and grab something to drink. I just grabbed a cold, um, oh good, he moved, uh, sparkling water. We get them from Costco. There's the Topo Chico's. They can cause burping. 
So I try not to drink too much of it, but I already drank this much before I started filming, but I was thirsty. I haven't really drank much water today, which is a, a no-no. And of course, if you know me, you know me. Do you know what I'm gonna show? Okay, I'll give you a second to think about it. If you know me, let's see how well you know me. It's after five. What do you think's coming? Dun, dun, dun. The wine. We have the wine. Yes, we do. Red, red wine. Ooh, that's my first sip. Mm. Delish. Sometimes the first sip doesn't hit though. It's like kind of like, ooh, then, you know, and then it, I get used to it, but it's like trying wine for the first time sometimes when I have the first sip. Oh, right. Oh my gosh, this yellow brick road is amazing. It's so blinged up. So, where do we begin? All right, here's what we're going to talk about. Let's talk about the event and how this whip and chat is going to go. So, um, we did the same thing last week, but I'll explain it again. I'll talk about it every week, of course. Um, somewhere during this whip and chat, I'm going to give you a key word, okay? A secret word if you want to, you know, keep it like that. Well, I like to say our magic word. And I'm just going to kind of sneak it in somewhere, right, to make sure you're actually here for the event, not just, you know, looking for prizes. Um, when you hear that word, watch the rest of the video, of course. But afterwards, in the comments down below, I want you to put that keyword that I give you today in today's video in a complete sentence. Just don't put the word. We want to try to make it sneaky, right? Uh, yes. So somewhere in this video, listen for my keyword and then put it in the, now what we'll do is you'll do that today. You'll have until Sunday. And then what we're going to do is on Sunday during my lives, the whole month of August, this is what we're going to do. If you saw us last Sunday, it was our first one. Um, I've got Paul and Ditsy on there with me. And what we do is we do a random comment picker and we find all the comments that have the word, the keyword in it. And then we have a wheel with all the prizes. So during that live, you're going to find out who the winner is, and then you're gonna find out what you won. So definitely, um, and we're not reaching out to folks because we didn't do any Google Forms, so we don't have, we don't really have, we don't have emails, we don't have, you know, all the information for you. So make sure after you watch this and you do give me the keyword that you go back and watch. Uh, you don't have to be on the live itself. You don't have to watch it live, but make sure, you know, you're either at the live or watch the replay to see if you won, okay? They're not, they're, they're normally like an hour, hour and a half long, so it's not too bad. Um, just to see if you won, because. For the, the prizes that don't get claimed, we're going to have to redraw for those and we have an idea of what we're going to do. So I don't want anyone to miss out on their prizes. So definitely, um, you know, so, you know, you'll have to reach out to us. I just want to make sure you guys knew that. Um, and we've got some amazing sponsors. Like I said, just go check them out below. They're so, so good. We've had some uh, anonymous donations from subscribers for diamond paintings. I mean, it's just been I, I, this this one has just blown me out of the water. The generosity of the small shops, big shops, you know, like I said, subscribers, you know, watchers, supporters. It's just, it's wild. It is just wild. So, all right. I'm going to make myself a little note here next to me to give you the keyword. So I, cause I would hate to forget. That would really suck. All right. So let's talk about, um, where I've been, what I've been doing this week. Um, I just sat down. 10 minutes ago and kind of jotted down the things that I could remember that happened um, from this past week. Let me pick a color. Go with a little AB here, a little 3846. And I was surprised how much I was able to write down. I was like, okay, you know, going into it, you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough to talk about to fill an hour, but uh, you'd be surprised what, what ends up, if you actually write down what happens in your life, well, quite a bit. And some of it's not like that exciting, but it's still what happened. So <laughs> I'm going to tell you about it. Uh, but again, before I begin, I don't want this to all be about me. You guys you know how I do it here. Make sure you let me know how you are, okay? For reals. I mean, for real, for reals. Tell me below how you are um, because I love reading your comments and, you know, I definitely get back to everybody. So, all right. The first thing I could think of to talk to you about since the last time we met, since last Thursday, was Saturday. So, I don't know what happened on Friday. Um, yeah, don't know. It was all blur, but let's rewind, okay? All right, so let's go back to Saturday. So Alyssa and I, Alyssa is the diamond painting accountant, by the way. She's one of my good friends, and we did Mermaids and Magic together. Uh, we did we did a retreat together, so, and she doesn't live too far from me. She's about, mm, about 45 minutes from me. So we try to get together from time to time. You know, like I said, we're not real close, but we definitely try to make an effort. So we were talking, well, actually, I think we were talking on Friday. And we were talking about some stuff and I told her how I'd gotten these, um, this really, really nice gift from a subscriber, from a friend here, 
Um, it's a nail kit. It's like a manicure kit and it's Wizard of Oz themed. And I really wanted to have it for this whip and chat. But as you can see from the nails, the naked nails, it did not happen. We ended up doing something else entirely. So again, you know, sometimes the plans just don't work out. So we were talking about that and I was telling her how I was kind of intimidated by it. And she's like, I can come over and help you. I was like, oh, okay. And then the more we talked, I was like, wait, I actually have my Patreon slash member Zoom um, Saturday night and she's one of my Patreons. So I was like, why don't you just come over and we'll do that. We'll do the nails, we'll get dinner, we get some pizza delivered. And then we'll, um, we'll hang out in diamond paint during the Zoom and we'll hang out with everybody. And she's like, great. So that was our plan. And she got here about five on Saturday. Yeah, I think it was around five. And um, it was so funny because she sent me a message telling me she was gonna be a little late. She forgot her canvas, bless her heart. I mean, she had brought so much stuff because something else we had talked about is doing the nails. I mean, we wanted to do all the things, right? Within like three or four hours. Uh, do the nails and then also she's really really good at blinging up diamond paintings i am so intimidated by that unless you tell me like one of the enhancement kits from dp with sparklers this goes here this goes you know use this for this and you know change it out for this exchange that but i don't know how to do this but Alyssa is so good a lot of what i mean everything all the changes i made to this were all her so she she we were laughing because she had brought all her she has a lot of enhancements a lot more than i do and uh, so she had boxes and boxes and boxes of special drills to bring over for us to kind of like decide, you know, what we wanted to change out. And then of course she had her um, her diamond painting and all of that, you know, her the drills, but yeah, she forgot her diamond painting. So she had to turn around and go grab that, which I thought was so funny, um, but she made it and she got here. Now, some of the, what took up some of our time, our crafting time and hanging out time was Lou was at the mall with a friend and she needed to be picked up and no one else was really available. So she called me, Lou called me about, uh, and by the way, Lou is my, my 11 year old daughter. I almost said 12, she's gonna be 12 in a couple weeks. Um, but yeah, she called me and said, mom, and it was about 10 minutes before Alyssa got here. She's like, can you pick us up? And I was like, Ugh, Alyssa, cause I didn't want Alyssa to get here and I, I wasn't here. And I'm like, can you wait for Alyssa and we'll come and get you together, you know? So I called Alyssa and I'm like, how far are you? She's like, I'm like 10 minutes. I'm like, all right, when you get here, um, tell me when you're here and we'll just hop in my car and we need to go pick up Lou and her friend at the mall. She's like, okay. So that took a little bit of our time. But then we got back from the mall. The girls wanted to show us their outfits and all the things cause she got, you know, first day of school clothes and got some stuff. So we did that. And then um, Alyssa started to get to work. She was like, okay, let's look at your painting and let's, uh, let's, 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 you know, let's do a plan here for blinging it out. It, she is amazing. She took notes for me. She And I felt bad because I told her, I'm like, I I'm sorry. You're, and she's like, no, I like doing this. This is fun. Because to me, it looked like too much work. And it took her a long time, but she was like so into it. She even, um, let me show you guys how much we're actually changing out. If you want to look up for a second. I mean, she said Wicked Witch Enhancements. I mean, she wrote all this out for me. So she's like, the monkey, we're going to put these uh, S for S. So I'm doing s rounds. These, cr these little uh, purple ones that you see, these sparkly ones. These are rounds in a square kit, which is funky, but it's what we're doing. And it looks good, French violet. And then the sky and the clouds, uh, we're doing AB glow jellies. We're doing all this fun stuff. And she had all this stuff and she gave it to me. This is the metallic pyrite, which is in the uh, yellow brick road. We've got some crystal AB 907 for her hair. I mean, y'all, it just goes on and on and on. I've got all these thingamajiggies, sunshines, bouillon, mermaid, S for S, midnight. I don't even know what they all are. But, and then she said, well, we don't have everything you need. So you need to place an order. And she gave me my order list of what I needed to order. And I ordered it. It was perfect though, because I had been on T-Maw's live because T-Maw goes live on Fridays, Friday night. Um, and I'd been on T-Maw's live and I won a giveaway. Like, I don't know, over like a month ago for a gift card. So I was able to use that money, the gift. Ooh, excuse you, buddy. Sorry, that was Ollie. Um, the gift card code and to get my stuff I needed for this kit. So hopefully, I mean, I have time. I've got plenty to do around it, um, but we'll see. I don't know if I'll be able to finish the monkey because I'm getting kind of low on these little purple ones. So, but yeah, Alyssa spent a lot of time. It was so fun digging through her stash and um, trying to decide, you know, what colors we did want to switch out. So that's why the nails didn't get done. I think that's probably why. And then uh, during, while she, while she was doing that, I ordered pizza. So then the pizza got here. And then we went down and ate, and again, no dime paint. And then it was time to come back up and get ready for the Zoom. And then of course we dime painted, 
diamond painted during the Zoom and the Zoom, oh gosh, we probably went there for like three hours. It was so fun. And uh, so by the way, if, you, if you're curious what that is and if you wanna join, I would love to have you, of course. Um, everyone's welcome. It is a, it's a monthly subscription type of, um, type of setup and it's a great way to, su to support your favorite creators. Um, for mine, I have like, behind, yeah, I do weekly vlogs that everybody gets to see and I just, you know, show you a day in the life of what goes on in my weeks. And uh, yeah, so it's behind the scenes content. Uh, there are Zooms, there's GIFs. So there's different tiers depending on, you know, what you want. So and what you can do. So yeah, if you want to do that, the links will be down below. But uh, that's so, yeah. And then after the uh, Zoom was over, about 11, she, uh, she headed out and we just had a great time. It was a lot, a lot of fun. It was really, really fun. So I gotta work on those nails. I don't know. I kind of hope to try to do it today, but it just didn't happen. So nope. God, y'all, this, um, every time I grab this pen, my glue dots are way too fresh and it's just grabbing the ABs and it just won't let go. So I need to stick to my Wicked Witch pen. So yeah, that was Saturday. Uh, let's see, and then Sunday, uh, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. We of course did our first live. So if you were there, thanks for being there. Um, it was fun. It was so much fun. We, uh, again, we're gonna do it every Sunday for the month of August and I had Ditsy on there and Paul and we had our Wizard of Oz shirts on and I was laughing because it looked like I like threw up, you know, like the Wizard of Oz threw up on me. I was in the kitchen filling up my Wizard of Oz tumbler that Tammy got me and my husband just looks over at me and he's like, he just shook his head like, what the heck lady, what's wrong with you? He just, he, he's not surprised. I mean, he's seen it so many times. He knows I'm obsessed with the movie. And I looked at him, I said, you know, Dorothy's coming at some point. He goes, oh, I, I, I figured, because he knows. I've worn Dorothy so much, I had to buy a new one last year because I, my other one was so worn out. I mean, I've worn it, I don't know how many times. <laughs> I dress up as her almost every Halloween. I've worn her multiple times for events. Um, it's just fun. I, I, love, I love wearing Dorothy. So be on the lookout. She will probably make an appearance at some point. I'm sure she will. So yeah, we did the live. And again, the lives are, I do go live every Sunday at uh, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. So please join us. Whether or not you're participating in the event, it doesn't matter. Um, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. You can totally just say, hey, I'm working and lurking and uh, just diamond paint or craft or whatever you wanna do if you're driving. So yeah, they're always a lot of fun. So we did, um, and Paul and Ditsy did a wonderful job running the whole giveaway thing. I mean, they worked their butts off, you know, keeping up with all the sponsors and then collecting all the, you know, the names, the comment picker, the wheel, everything they did. So I just had to push share on the screen. So it was really, really nice, really appreciated. Um, they're, they're such good friends and I, um, they're just making life even better, you know, here on my channel. And of course, you know, for events and stuff for us and personally. So yeah, they're, they're amazing people. So definitely like I didn't even mention, but you know, of course go, go subscribe to Ditsy's, if Ditsy's Diamond Den, if you haven't yet, I'll of course have her link down below. Cause you know, she's talking about all things Oz too. So you definitely want to follow her. You don't want to miss anything. Man, I'm struggling trying to pick these up. Um, let's see. So that was Sunday. And then, and like I said, we announced the week one winners. I'm just gonna get a little sip of water. And then Monday. Monday. Um, Monday. I had a dermatologist appointment. I'm not sure if I talked to you guys about it before. Um, not, I don't think I did. Maybe I did, I don't know. But I have been struggling with my cheeks uh, being red for years. Uh, I don't know how long, a couple years at least, right? And it pro was progressively getting worse. Makeup used to be able to cover it and then it was getting worse and worse and worse. And then I would say in the last six months, maybe even longer actually, uh, yeah, my, uh, I was getting, I was breaking out more in those same areas, my cheeks, my chin and my forehead. It was like, just like a T zone, right? And I was like, something's wrong. I, you know, something's wrong. I thought it's because I wasn't, you know, washing my face enough, taking my makeup off at night. So I was doing really good on my skincare and it just was getting worse. And then I thought, well, maybe I'm allergic to something. So I finally made an appointment and it was at a new dermatologist. And what's funny about it, you guys, is I actually found this dermatologist. And it's funny because when I made the appointment, they asked me um, how I'd heard about them. And I was like, oh, just from driving by, which is kind of true, but not really. But I didn't want to get into how I actually found them. So uh, if you've been, been with me, you know, for a bit, you know, I used to work for a podiatrist in marketing. And what I did was for a whole four and a half months, I uh, would go to other, other doctor's offices trying to drum up business for my doctor, try to get referrals. 
So we'd go to, we'd go to tons of dermatologists and everything in the area. And I remember going into this office a couple times and I just got a really good feeling from them. They were really nice. Um, it was always a busy office and I'm like, okay, well that may be a sign that they're good. So I did make an appointment there. They, they accepted new patients and they accepted our insurance. So I was like, all right. So my appointment was at uh, two o'clock on Monday. I got there about five minutes, four or five minutes early and go in and the check-in process was pretty easy. You know, did everything a little tablet and bing, bang, boom, you know, done. They called me back. So I didn't have to wait that long. I think I was in and out. I think I was out, uh, less than 20 minutes. I think the whole thing. I, I, I couldn't believe it. I don't know how I felt about it. I don't know if it's a good thing. I, I don't know. So here's what happened. I go in. So first of all, on the phone, they asked me if I was okay seeing the PA, the physician's assistant. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. What do you, what's your take on that? You guys, I've, I've been meaning to ask people this. So that's one, that's the first question. Well, first question is, how are you? Second, what is your take on PAs versus like the doctor? Do you feel like they're equally qualified? Same, you know, skill level, same, uh, just everything. Do you feel like you're treated the same and get the same? I don't know. I'm just curious. I never know because it seems like, you know, it's really hard obviously to get into the, the doctor, but if you want to see the PA, boy, you can get in like same day sometimes. So I got saw the PA and, uh, she comes in and she's like, so what's going on? And I was like, so, you know, I've got this redness and, uh, kind of told her how long I've been going on. And I said, I think it might be rosacea, but I don't know. That's all, you know, that's why I'm here. And she goes, yep, that's what it is. I'm like, oh, okay. Y'all, she didn't even touch my face. She didn't even get near my face. <laughs> she was sitting on a stool. I mean, yeah, she was in, she was in proximity of me. I don't really know how many feet we were from each other. I'm not good at that. But the lady did not examine me. I mean, is that normal for a dermatologist? I was just envisioning, I mean, I like brushed my teeth a second time. And of course I brushed them in the morning, but I brushed them again before I went thinking she was going to be all up in my mouth, not my mouth, <laughs> all on my face, you know, touching my face and maybe looking at it under a mirror. I don't know what a derma, like under a stethoscope or, or listen, something. She didn't touch me, nothing. And it was quick. She was like, yep, that's what it is. Um, so we're going to give you some pills, some antibiotic. We're going to give you a 30 day supply of antibiotics, uh, to get rid of any infection. And then there's a cream that you'll just put on once a night. Okay. All right, any questions? And I was like, what the heck? Just what? What? <laughs> so like, I was, I didn't ask any questions because I was like in shock. I was like, that was it? Did I just self diagnose myself? And she just like agreed with me and, and just threw some, like, threw some medicine at me and like that was it? Y'all, it was crazy. So I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if they were efficient or if it was rushed. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. So, and then. I'm like, so you're going to send this to my pharmacy? Is that, do I need to go pick it up? And, and, and she goes, oh, actually, um, these prescriptions are from a, uh, what'd she call it? A, a specialty pharmacy. And I was like, ah, oh, shit. That means in my mind, specialty pharmacy means expensive, right? I mean, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, oh, I just can't go up to Walgreens and grab it. She's like, nope, it's a specialty insurance, a specialty pharmacy. And she's like, what'll happen is, um, and I think at this point she had already left and I was just talking to like the medical assistant, I think. Yeah. So it was like quick, quick, quick. Um, and then she goes, so what's going to happen is they're going to, um, they're going to text you and they're going to give you a quote and then you agree. And, uh, and then you, they deliver it to you for free. They deliver it to your door. I was like, okay. But I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be crazy expensive. So that afternoon she said it takes a couple of days and I just got it today. And what, today is Wednesday? So yeah, it was two days, exactly what they said, because that was Monday. Uh, and it got delivered to the house. So I did get the quote. It was like a hundred and something dollars, but I was like, shoot, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know, you know, I figured the, the $30, the 30, 30 day supply of pills was like hopefully a one-time thing. The cream, um, and I'm glad I got it today, looked at it. It's a really big um, tube. So I'm hoping all this is gonna last a while because I'm not gonna like, this is not something I'm gonna do every month, that's for sure. And then, oh, one thing I forgot to tell you, the one thing that she did tell me, she goes, before the PA left, she goes, and if, uh, so she goes, we'll do this for a couple of months and see if we can get everything to calm down. And then um, she goes, the only real way to treat your face and like the little veins, because I have a little, uh, I have some, a few veins on my cheek um, that are there too. She goes, the only way to treat the veins is to do laser, laser, laser treatments. She goes, my insurance doesn't cover those. And I was like, oh, geez. 
I was like, how much is that? She's like, oh, what'd she say? I think she said like $175 and she said it can take like up to five, but she's like, but normally it doesn't take that many treatments. I was like, oh boy. So she gave me paperwork on that and that's when she left. I was like, all right. So yep, the cream and the, the pills arrived today. I did take the pill about an hour ago. So I don't feel weird. It's all, it's all right, I think. I think it's a low dose of something. I don't know, y'all. The cream I have to put on once, uh, once at night. So I'll do that tonight. Hopefully my face doesn't peel off or fall off or I don't know, burn. I don't know what it's gonna do. I'm sure it's fine. But I got a text from them uh, like the day after and they're like, tell us how we did. Like the dermatologist office. I'm like, you know, I don't know how I feel about the whole thing. I haven't been to a dermatologist, you guys, since I was a kid. I mean, I had acne as a kid. So, but I mean, I haven't been since an adult. So I was like, I don't know. Maybe that's just how dermatologists do it. Bing, bang, boom, in and out. And they don't even touch your face or look at your face up close or anything. Or maybe I have such a bad case of rosacea that they were like, oh yeah, no, yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, like first glance, they didn't even need to look at me. I mean, I've thought all these different things. I'm like, I don't know. So I didn't fill out the survey. I was like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about you. Uh, you know, for me, it's almost like I need to give you a second chance and see how, I, <laughs> see how you treat me the next time. I'm just not sure about it, y'all. It was just kind of weird. So let me know. Another good question for you in this video. If you've been to a dermatologist, is that normal? I mean, you may have been going for different reasons that need to be looked at and touched and like taken a peek. I don't even know. I just expected more. I expected more from these folks. And then I started questioning. I'm like, did they, did they even know? I mean, did they even diagnose me correctly? But I think so. So then I did my own research and uh, decided to look up rosacea once I got home and I Googled it because I kind of wanted to know more. And I wanted to see in particular, if there was one particular thing that I absolutely love and adore that I should maybe stop doing or stop drinking. <clears throat> this red stuff right here, right? So, you know, but I was like, oh, please. I don't want to read that I can't have wine. So I did look and there was like gross pictures, right? So I definitely have it because the images looked, you know, like my face. I mean, there was some, whoa, y'all, I'm lucky. People have it a way, a way worse um, than I have it. So um, let me grab these mermaid, little mermaid babies. Of course, they're called mermaids. I love those. Um, these are going to be in the monkey's feathers. Yes, for the O symbol. Okay, I have to check my notes. That's the one thing. It slows you down a little bit having to do enhancements, but that's okay. It'll be worth it, right? So I keep reading after looking at pictures, and I'm like, yep. So then I'm looking at, you know, things, foods to avoid, things to not do. And uh, it said, no, it said uh, spicy food can cause um, it to get worse. I love, 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 love spicy food. Yes, I do. I have sriracha every day in something. I put sriracha in everything that I eat. I douse it. I mean, we have pizza. I squirt it in my little ranch dish and it looks like it's, it's totally red. There's no ranch anymore. Uh, I put it in my chili. I just put it in everything I eat. I was like, okay, so I've cut back on that. But the funny thing about it, about the whole spicy food thing is the very next day, uh, on Tuesday, I was doing a hot wing challenge on Ditsy and Paul's live. Mm -hmm. So that was my last hurrah <laughs> for spice. Um, yeah, and now it did say alcohol can also, of course, right? You knew that was coming. So I figured let's eliminate this. Let, let's, let's kick back the spice and see how things go. And you know, so I'll, I'll, I'll try, I'll try to, um, but y'all, I need my wine. I mean, I would give it up obviously if I had to, right? I mean, come on, I, I would, but I don't really want to. So let's see if we can just get rid of some spice and then maybe it'll get a little better. So we'll see. So, you know, I'm trying to change my diet a little bit. Yeah. So that was that. So I'll let, I'll keep you posted on the creams and the pills and hopefully, like I said, I don't get like I'm just envision. oh man, oh, some of the pictures I saw online. Sometimes that, you know, you shouldn't look, right? You should not look up, you should not look up things because these people's faces were so red and they were talking about treatments they had had done. I don't, it, it wasn't the same thing that, that I, I don't think it was the same cream. It was some kind of peel. Oh gosh, it was awful. I mean, their face was, it looks like they, they were just so sunburnt and then it peels and I just was like, oh, so I'm just worried this, 
this cream is gonna make my face look weird. But you know, it's already looking weird right now with the redness and with the, with the breaking out. So, I mean, what's gonna get worse, right? Yeah, I mean, it's gotten so bad lately to where I don't even want to walk around my house. Now, I don't wear a lot of makeup ever, and especially my Patreons and my members know this that's, that have been with me for a long time. I mean, the only time I really put makeup on is on Sundays when I do like my lives. I'm not a makeup girl, but the, the breakouts and the redness has gotten so bad recently that before I film or before I even like walk around my house, I don't, my husband even say it's bad y'all. I'm like covering it up with foundation because it's gotten like so red and it's just, ugh. yeah. So it was time. So yeah, I'm glad I went. Um, you know, we'll just kind of see how it goes. All right. We'll see. I'll keep you posted. You'll probably see in videos and, you know, but during the lives, I have a ton of makeup on, so you really can't even see it. But, and I know some of my friends are like, it's not bad. I never even noticed her. I didn't think it was that bad, which is so sweet. But you know what? Up close in person, you can see it. It's not good. It's not so good, y'all. So, yeah. And I was becoming self-conscious about it. So it was time. So hopefully this fixes it or you know, not fixes it, but improves it. So, all right. We're at about 36 minutes and I don't want to forget so are you ready? Are you ready for it? Boom, boom, boom. A little Taylor Swift, y'all. Which I'm not a Swifty, but yeah. All right. Here is the key word. Again, I want you to put this in the comments below in a sentence, okay? Be creative. Have fun. I mean, that, that's that's like the best part of this. Forget it being for a giveaway. I mean, yeah, that's cool too. But we, I, we love, love, love. I love reading everyone's comments. I'm sure I know other people probably read the comments to see what you guys are kind of going to come up with, you know, with this word. All right. So the word this week is heart, H-E-A-R-T. And that's courtesy of Ditsy and Paul. They, they're coming up with the words for us. And I think it's great because of course the Tin Man, right? Was it the Tin Man? Yeah. I was like, okay, I got, I got to get the character right. That'd be bad if I got it wrong. The Tin Man wanted a heart, didn't he? No, he wanted a brain. Wait a sec, no wait, Scarecrow? Oh my gosh, I need to rewatch the movie. I think it was a Tin Man. I'm like questioning myself now. I think I just need to stick with my initial, my initial answer. But yes, put the word heart. Let's see what you can come up with. Um, yes, 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 so heart, okay? All right, so another cool thing that happened this week. Um, I know I talked about it a couple of weeks ago. Y'all, a lot of you know um, that I'm gonna do, I've been doing kind of behind the scenes, uh, videos for Muni Maid for her awesome diamond paintings. Um, I've done three videos so far and with her move and everything, she wasn't able to put one up yet. Well, she finally, she poured, I mean, she is like just exhausted, you guys. I mean, they've got the warehouse, they're moving to a house, they're renting their old house, they've got a little one. I mean, it's a lot of work. So I was like, you're good. I, they're, at least I, I did them. You, you can put them up when you're ready. She finally put the first one up. So if you wanna go check it out, go hop over to Muni Maid. I'll have her link down below, of course, because I have her tray right here. Um, and I will tell you, my recommendation, and I can say this because, you know, I've had some questions and just from starting to work on, you know, do videos for her. Um, I know a lot of folks want her trays. Her trays are really, really good. They are hard to get. My recommendation to you is go watch the video, see if you like the painting that I did for her, the, the kit review. And uh, if that one's not for you, then go check out her website and see what's available and just do an upgrade. Just do a toolkit upgrade and you can get a tray. Boom, done. Yep, that's what I would do. Yep, and I thought about doing it because they are hard to get. And I'm a one, you know, she has a wait list, um, but you know, she's just so busy and I, you know, she's, and they're good. The trays are amazing. So, but yeah, that would be my recommendation. So yeah, go check out the video. Um, I have had a lot of friends go watch it and they're like, you did a great job. So that means the world, the world to me. Um, M over at Muni Maid did want me to show my face and just for the first one, I just kind of introduced myself and say hello, which was so sweet. She did not have to do that. I was not expecting that. I was going to be like anonymous and just be a voice, you know, and just, you know, hello. And I wasn't even going to say my name, but she wanted me to say my name in all the videos and she wanted me to introduce myself. So that was really kind. And, uh, I really, you know, I really appreciated that because it'll help drive traffic to my channel. So yeah, but that one's done and it's up. So let me know what you think. Go check it out. Go check it out. Um, I think they'll get better because I was kind of nervous and I was still finding my groove. And that was the biggest one I think out of the three that I did. So, uh, but I was able to do it in seven minutes. So I thought that was pretty good. And that's even with the introduction at the beginning. So she wants them precise and to the point, which is exactly what I was trying to do, but still have fun, right? And still, you know, so I'm trying to balance it all. So yeah, go check it out and let me know what you think. 
And uh, like I said, that's the first one, but she's got more coming out. So yeah, definitely go subscribe to her see, and ring that bell so you'll get notified because um, there are more coming. I'm not gonna say anything else because it's not my place, but I'm gonna be doing more work. So y'all y'all get over there, subscribe, hit the, you know, get that little bell going so you won't miss out on anything, okay? Yes. Um, so yeah, I did that. So I think that went out like Monday or Tuesday. And let's see. Oh my gosh. I'm the biggest, biggest dork. I did something so stupid and it could have gone really wrong. Well, not, not really wrong, but just really, it would have really been a bad situation. It wouldn't have been fun. Let's put it that way. All right. So on my Patreon and member zoom on Saturday night with Alyssa was over here, right? Um, we were talking to everybody and one of my subscribers, one of my friends, uh, Kay, um, was like, Hey, I'm actually going to be in Dallas, um, to see a concert. And I was like, Oh, let's try to meet up. She's like, that'd be great. So she's like, um, I'll send you an email. So she sent me an email that night. And again, this was Saturday, right? So I think I got it like Saturday or Sunday and she's like, I'm going to be there on Tuesday. I was like, all right. So we were talking back and forth and we decided on breakfast. So I picked a breakfast place and we decided, cause I didn't want her to drive to me because she's gonna be meeting me for breakfast on her way out of town to head back home. And I know where she lives. I don't have her, I mean, I, yeah, I, well, yeah, I don't know, I don't think I have her address yet, but I definitely knew the city. So I was like, okay, I'll kind of wrap, figure out where we could meet where it's not out of her way. And uh, so I decided we should meet in Dallas at this really fun breakfast place that is a treat to go to because it's kind of far. It's about, um, so when I looked at it originally, when I was talking to her, it said it was 30 minutes away. And I was like, oh, I can do that. Um, so that was the plan. I sent her the map of the place and the whole nine yards and we picked nine o'clock. We're going to be there at nine. So I told Lou Monday night, cause Lou was going to go to um, a friend's house and spend the night. And my hubby was going to be out of town already Tuesday morning for the week. And I was like, Hey Lou, um, I'm going to have breakfast. Um, she's like, Oh, can we come with you? I was like, yeah, I don't think Kay would mind. I'm sure she'd love to meet you. So I was going to pick the girls up at her friend's house and bring them with me to breakfast. So had my alarm set, got up, uh, decided to look up the look at the directions to see how, how much time I had. And you guys, it had, it had now rush hour traffic. I wasn't thinking about that. The time had increased quite a bit. It went from 30 minutes to almost an hour. I was like, oh my gosh. So then I had to tell Kay that I was gonna be late and I was feeling awful. I was like scrambling. I was trying to call Lou and trying to get her and her friend going. And they were like, we need more time. I'm like, we don't have more time. I was like totally stressed out. So. I was feeding the dogs real quick before I left and I was, Lou was like, we're ready. I'm like, okay, I'm coming to pick you up. Decided to check my messages one more time to see if Kay had messaged me back. Cause I wanted to see if, you know, I didn't want her waiting there and uh, you know, for 20 or 30 minutes waiting on us. I just would have felt awful. She sends me a message back. She's like, Shay, it's next Tuesday. <laughs> Are you serious? I was relieved. And mad at the same time, I was like, oh my gosh, woo, all right, I was like, I can breathe. Oh, it was like meant to be, right? But you guys, I mean, Kay was like, good thing you were running late, because if you had been, y'all, I would have drove an hour with two kids. I mean, at least like, you know, we, I guess, would have had breakfast anyways and made the most of it, but to drive an hour and she wasn't even gonna be there, we would have been looking for it, would have been so weird, but we were both laughing and we're all like, oh my gosh. So I called Lou back immediately. I'm like, Lou, it's next Tuesday. She's like, what? And she starts laughing. I'm like, I know. So I reread re the email from Kay and sure enough, it said 8-11, August 11th, which is next Tuesday. <clears throat> so <laughs> I did that. Mm -hmm. I felt like a real dummy. I was like, oh my God. But at the same time, I was like, oh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make her wait. Poor, you know, I just was going to, I was going to feel awful. Just absolutely awful if I was going to make her wait. I, that's one of my things. I do not like to be late to things. I feel like it's so rude. I'm sorry if you like to run late, but I don't. I mean, it happens. Yes, I'm not perfect. I, I do, I, I have run late before, but I don't like to. And I, it really makes me upset when I'm late somewhere because that that person's time is precious. And I'm, I never want them to think that, you know, that I'm more important than that. I don't care about their time. So, mm -hmm. so that worked out, I guess. So, oh. So I'll have to tell you next week about having breakfast with Kay. But this time I was looking at the calendar for next Tuesday and Jasper has his bed appointment, his follow up for his ear again. And uh, we've been keeping him out of the pool and he's been okay. And uh, so we go back one more time, hopefully that's it. And, uh, but that, that appointment's like kind of like late morning. 
So I told her, I was like, do you, I said, I hate to do this to you. I'm like, but is it, if it's not too out of your way, do you think we could meet somewhere closer to where I am? And that way I can still see you for breakfast and I can take him to his bed appointment. She's like, yeah, of course. So I picked a closer place. It's really good. We were talking about like Cracker Barrel and things like that, but she's like, but you know, I'd rather like go to some local spot. I was like, oh yeah, I got you. We got brunch places and breakfast places like all over. So yeah, I get to meet Kay. I'm so excited. Uh, we've never met in person, uh, but we've been friends for, gosh, a long time, a really long time. And she's just super, super sweet. So um, I, I, ho I hope to get a picture. I like to get pictures with, with everybody and maybe I'll put them in here once we get it done and we meet if she's okay with it, of course. Um, but yeah, okay. So that was Tuesday morning, okay? And of course, Tuesday night, we had the wing challenge, the hot wing challenge. If y'all were there, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. it I, we loved it to some degree. Um, so Ditsy and Paul, to give you a little bit of history, Ditsy had asked me a while back going, hey, do you like spicy food? I was like, yeah, do you? She's like, yep. She's like, let's do a hot wing challenge. I'm like, all right, we're down. Now, the reason why I said we is because um, Ryan, my oldest, who's 19, uh, him and I had done that two years ago. And we talked about doing a repeat and doing it again. So it was like the perfect opportunity. And uh, it kind of got planned fast because we found out from Ryan that he was going to be off work this week, this Tuesday. I think we found that out like on Sunday night, maybe Monday. It was like, I think it was Sunday. Yeah. Because it's so frustrating. His work doesn't do the schedule for the next week until that Sunday. And it's only a week's worth of schedules. So he kind of has to wait. So um, yeah, so Paul and Ditsy, uh, so Ditsy goes live on Tuesdays. So definitely go check her out on her lives. They're really fun. And uh, yep, we did a hot wing challenge. So what we did was we got a box from Amazon. We both ordered the same thing. And it was called the, and I think I showed y'all too. I may have showed it to you last week. The book of, the book of pleasure and pain. They, they needed to add something else in there because it was gross. A lot of these flavors were just downright, just nasty. Just did not taste good. Forget the heat. They were just, they, they smelled bad. They looked bad. They were like a bad color and they tasted bad. So I don't know what, I mean, I don't know. I mean, we did get it off of Amazon and it wasn't super expensive. <laughs> we were kind of maybe being a little cheap, maybe. I mean, it wasn't like super cheap, but the hot ones, like the show, we wanted like a hundred something bucks, right? For their set of bottles. And we're like, no, we're not doing that. We, we, we can't do that. So, you know, we made it work, but we both had our bottles, our little, so yesterday, um, we both, I went to Costco during the day and I got a, a big, good thing I got two bags because we needed to make 24 wings. So I got a big old bag of, of wings and I just didn't use the, the buffalo sauce packets that came with it. And I just cooked them normal, you know, no, no, no seasoning, no, uh, no sauce. Cooked those in the oven and did two big trays because I had to make some for my other kids to eat for dinner and I made them some fries. And then we did it. So eight o'clock last night, we're doing it. Oh my gosh, you guys. So you have to go back and watch the replay. Um, and there's a voting too. I don't know when the voting, uh, I don't know if the voting is still up, maybe. But at the time of this filming, Ryan and I did take a look at it about an hour ago and Ditsy and Paul are winning. They're winning. So sad. I thought there was gonna be a sympathy vote, sympathy vote for Ryan because he's young and he's cute. He's my kid, but no, no, it didn't work y'all. So we're, we were like a team, right? And the winner is getting a Buffalo Wild Wings gift card and bragging rights. But I think they're gonna pull it out. I think they're gonna win. So vote for us, vote for, vote for Shea Crew. Go on her, I'll put her, she'll, yeah, on her community tab. There, there's voting. I'm not gonna sway you one way or the other, but I kept smiling at the camera. Maybe that's why people didn't think we won because I was suffering. Now here's what got bad. So there's 12 bottles, right? And it's supposed to get hotter, you know, the, the higher you go in numbers, right? One's supposed to be like nothing. It was like bacon and that was fine. Didn't taste anything. Second one was like garlic, right? Okay. Well, we got really cocky. And Ditsy actually told me today that she rewatched it. And, uh, oh, Lou's calling. Uh, hold on a sec. All right, sorry about that. Um, yeah, Lou called and then remember I told you I had that meatloaf timer? Well, she called to ask if not two, or maybe three girls could spend the night. And I was like, sure. I mean, this is the last week of summer. But then I had two minutes left on the meatloaf timer. And I'm like, okay, that's perfect timing. So I decided to go ahead and pause. Um, I did eat some meatloaf. You want to look up for a sec? <laughs> I brought my plate up here. I know. Do you want to see my, my gross food? I may edit this out. Meatloaf, mashed potatoes, green beans. Yum. Yes. So that's beside me. It's cooling down. All right. 
I just wanted to continue our story. Um, so I was saying that Ditsy was, um, we talked this morning and she was like, I watched the replay. Um, and man, you really went all in on that third one. So y'all, the third one was Sriracha. <clears throat> but again, it was only number three. And the other two had been like super weak. So I was like, psh, 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 right? Like, psh. I got all cocky. I think a lot, we all did. Oh, oh my. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that about did me in. And we thought, okay, if they're just going to get hotter from here, but they didn't. I, th I don't know if that one, I don't know. Whoever set these up, I don't know if they knew what they were doing, but three was so much hotter than, to me, any of the other ones. <clears throat> so, yeah, it definitely surprised us. It's not what we were expecting at three. Um, we both had a glass of milk. Now, get this. Um, Ditsy and Paul never drank anything the entire time. They went through all 12 wings each, you know, because what we did was we had a plate and we, like, dabbed the little bottles on each of our plates. And then we kind of, like, you know, rubbed the wings in them. <clears throat> Oh my gosh. But Dizzy was saying that Sriracha one, she watched me and I was like, just like painting the, I mean, I was just like going in because I didn't think it was going to be bad. I, so they didn't drink anything. Ryan and I did. Uh, Ryan went through two glasses of milk and a bottle of water. After that third one, that Sriracha one, I <clears throat> drank almost my whole glass of water. And that's when my stomach started to feel like, oh no, because I'd been drinking water. I had been drinking wine and then I had milk. Who mixes milk, wine, and water? It's just a bad idea. But thank God I survived. I didn't get sick. I didn't have any tummy troubles last night or today. Nothing else. I got to give myself some credit. And I'm not trying to win the competition or anything. But last night afterwards, after we cleaned up and kind of did this to that, um, I hopped on the call and Ditsy and Paul and I were diamond painting and I had poured a new glass of wine and I was like, good, good as, good as rain. I was like, good. I was going, I was still going. Um, yeah. And today I was fine. So I don't know what was hurting my stomach towards is I was getting full because those first, what I, I mean, I, I, I did some things wrong. I was hungry, but I thought that was a good strategy because I thought I'll, I'll want to eat the wing because I'm hungry. Well, I ate the entire wing, like the first, I don't know, four or five. And then I was getting full because these wings were like meaty. They were like big fat wings. So <laughs> I was getting full and then the flavors were just nasty. They would just taste gross, y'all. So I wouldn't recommend that pack. Would not recommend. No, I would not. If you're looking for some hot sauce, would not recommend. But like I said, I've given up the hot sauce because of the rosacea. So today I did really good. I didn't put my regular, you know, stuff and everything. So yeah, <clears throat> but that was so fun last night. A lot of fun. Um, and that brings us to today. So here we are Wednesday. Uh, Lou, my 11, soon to be 12 year old, is starting middle school, which is a big deal. It's the same school that both of her brothers um, went to. It's right across the street from us. So we're really lucky. I can actually see it like out certain windows of the house. That's really, really close to us. Uh, it's a great school. Of course, so much has changed since my boys were there. Like new principal, new counselors, new, new, new administrators, new teachers, it's like nothing it's crazy, the turnover, but I don't know if that's normal or not, but that, that happened, but you know, Nate's going to be a senior this year. So it's been a while since he, you know, was there. Um, it's sixth, seventh and eighth grade and she's going into sixth. So today they had orientation and walk your schedule. It was now the email that they sent to us said it was from two to three. So, um, yeah, so we were all ready to go and we walk into the gym and we get her schedule. It's changed since they told us we could look at it online. So she was kind of bummed and I was like, uh-oh, uh-oh. I was kind of worried how that was gonna, you know, set the whole mood. She's like, but I don't have my friends anymore. Like, you don't know until you, you know, they, their schedules may have changed too. And sure enough, they all did. Um, so what they did was they brought us all into the gym. The kids sat on the floor and the adults sat in the, the, the bleachers. And then they talked to all of us for like about 20 minutes. And then um, they had the, the kids go off with their first period teacher. And their first period teacher took them to that classroom and then they did a rotation and then that teacher would take them to their next one. So it was really cool. They got to basically meet all their teachers today, uh, fi find out where their classes are. Now this is really different because you know, in elementary, at least for us, and I, probably for a lot of places, um, you have a homeroom teacher and it's kind of like your home base and you don't really go anywhere else. And this is all new, you know? There's no more homeroom. It's like no more baby stuff, you know? It's like, yeah. So she seemed to handle it really well. They were gone for about an hour and a half. And then uh, the principal and the counselors talked to the parents and just kind of went through everything with us. 
And uh, going into it, I was like, oh, this is my third kid here. I I don't even know if I need to come to this. I know what's 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 gonna happen. And y'all, like I said, a lot has changed. Um, a lot has changed since COVID. Now, when my boys went to school at this middle school, there was lockers and Lou was so looking forward to a locker. We already bought all the stuff before we had found out there are no lockers anymore. They never went back to doing lockers after COVID. So, um, but my boys were like, lockers were a pain in the butt. I kind of wish we didn't have them because they don't give you a lot of time between classes to, to go to the next one. So you really didn't have time to, you know, go to your locker. But um, yeah, so I got to return all that stuff to Target. But, you know, she said she's got a lot of friends in different classes. She's excited. She's got theater. So she's going to do theater. It's one of her electives. And she's really excited about that. She kind of wants to do the, um, she doesn't want to do, she says she doesn't want to act in any of the plays or anything or try out for things. She wants to um, do makeup and kind of be like, you know, behind the scenes type of stuff. So, yeah. So it's all exciting. Uh, school starts Monday. It starts Monday. So we just have a few days left, which is crazy. Um, I have tried this week to wake up early every day. And what's hard is going to bed earlier. It's really, really hard. I get like my second wind. And every day I'm like, I'm going to bed earlier tonight. And I'd never do it. And I don't do it. It's so hard. I'm like on summer hours. So it's going to be rough. It, it is going to be rough. Um, I'm sure I'll complain about it next week. Um, yeah. The fun's over. Summer's over. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, the good thing is she, middle school starts a little bit later than elementary. You know, last year she had to be at school by 745. This year it's 825. I know it's not like a huge difference, but I'm like, eh, it gives us a little more time to get out of the house and, you know, get out, you know, get to the door. So um, our plan is I'm going to take her in the morning and then she's going to walk home in the afternoon. So that's the plan, you know, because there's other kids in the neighborhood that, you know, go to that school too. So, and it just does not make sense, you guys. It, it, it's to drive across the street. I mean, to deal with all the traffic and everything, it's just, it makes no sense. It really doesn't. And it takes so much longer to drive over there and then, you know, wait in the traffic and the carpool lane and then, you know, to get just right back across the street into our neighborhood. Now, I wish they had a crosswalk. That's what we all talk about. We should, but there's no direct. You have to go to, you have to go to like a light on you. So you have to walk, but we're right across the street. You, you can't, there's not, you can't go right across. So we, I really wish there was, a crosswalk, a light, something, but there's not. So it's not as easy as it sounds, but still, it still is across the street. So yeah, um, it's exciting. Like I said, we, we did that and um, yeah. So I feel like we're ready. We've, we've got the clothes, we've got the school supplies. Um, yeah, I'm sure more things will come up. I, I'm doubt, I doubt we're ready, ready, but we're gonna try. Um, so things that are coming up uh, this Sunday, of course, We'll be live again for Oz and Og week number two. We'll do the giveaways and just hang out and have some fun. So join us, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then um, I got a box today from a company uh, that I'll be doing an unboxing for. So that's a new company to me that has licensed artwork. So I'll be opening that up. And then, um, oh, this next week. So first day of school is Monday. And then uh, Tuesday, my parents who live about six hours from here, they are coming into town for some doctor's appointments and they're going to be staying with us Tuesday night and Wednesday night. So it's always good to see them. And uh, yeah, they're going to be staying with us for two nights. And my mom was asking if um, either one of those nights that they're here, if we could go out to dinner um, to celebrate Nate and Lou's birthday, because Nate's birthday is August 17th. He'll be 18. Crazy. I know he's going to be 18. He's a senior in high school. And then uh, Lou, her birthday is August 22nd. So they're five days apart. Um, and she's of course turning 12. So yeah, they wanted to take them out to dinner. So we'll do that one night, um, uh, next week. So it'll be nice to have them here and kind of hang out. And then of course I'll have hopefully breakfast, breakfast with Kay on Tuesday. So <laughs> hopefully that goes well. And, uh, I have my act together that day. So yeah, all good stuff, you guys, all good stuff. So thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Um, I think we're probably about the hour mark. So, and I did pretty good. If you want to look up for a sec, I mean, I didn't do a ton. What I have left to do that you see here is just black. It's just 310. So that'll go really, really fast. And this monkey's so cute. Somebody asked me uh, recently, does he have a hat? I'm like, he does have a hat. He's wearing a little hat. So, and it's fun to, like I said, bling it up. I have, I am having, you just like right now, I, I noticed I missed a couple of spots and I'm like, okay, I have to go look and see what that symbol is because it needs an enhancement. So you kind of have to, you have to have your notes right next to you. So, and hopefully I can get the uh, 
the rest of the stuff that I ordered from Tmall soon and be able to work on this, you know, and complete it. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm able to get it done in time. We'll see. We will see. No pressure, right? You didn't have to have a finish. So yeah, we'll just, you know, do the prize. We want it to be really, really low key and just really easy and fun. So, all right. If y'all enjoyed this, uh, please give me a thumbs up on the video below before you leave. They really do help. And uh, if you have not subscribed, it is free. I always tell you guys that, of course, you know, it doesn't cost anything. That was one thing I did not know when I first started watching YouTubers. I wasn't sure how the subscribe thing works. So for me, it's important to explain that because it, it doesn't cost anything. So, and uh, yeah, we really do appreciate it. It just lets us know that you're enjoying our content and that we're doing the right things and we're going in the right direction. So yeah, so join me. And then after you subscribe, uh, go ahead and click on that notification bell. Make sure that says all. And then that way you'll get notified uh, whenever I put up new videos. All right. Okay. I love you guys so much. Um, have a great rest of your week. And hopefully I'll see you this Sunday on our live. Okay. All right. Y'all take care. I love you. And I'll see you then. Okay. Bye guys. Eating from your window pane to a place behind the sun. Just a step beyond the rain somewhere over the rainbow way up high there's a land that i heard of once in a lullaby Somewhere over the rainbow, skies are blue, and the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true. Someday I wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops that's where you find me somewhere over the rainbow, bluebirds fly, birds fly over the rainbow, why then oh why can't I? If happy little bluebirds fly, Beyond the rainbow, why, oh, why can't I?